This is a 1967 Ford Mustang. We're going to take it for a quick spin and show you around the car. She fires right up at the touch of a key. And here we go. beautiful 289, original 289 engine, it's had a high performance rebuild, you can just hear it purring like a kitten, it's got a new paint job, got a uh, two inch pipes and dual Flowmaster exhaust. Let's hear the exhaust. It's got a really nice aggressive sound to it. Let's see the lights. There's the lights. Left turn signal. There you go. Right turn signal. We turn the lights on. There we go. All right. Brake lights. Good. Left turn signal. Right turn signal. All right, good. You can shut the car off. Well, there's not a whole lot more to say than it's a 67 Mustang. And just so, so desirable. Um, those are brand new 17 inch American racing wheels. A little bit of an offset with a eight inch wheel in the back and a seven seven inch in the front. Those tires have got, at this point of this video, those tires have got about a quarter mile on them. We just put them on then drove it right down here to show you around the car. The paint is new. It's not, uh, the, it's not a $10,000 show quality paint job, but it is about a $4,000 paint job and it looks awesome. Did, it has been a, a driver. It does have a couple of tiny little, uh, actually I'd say it's got two or three little chips on it that I saw um, minuscule though, minuscule. We've gone over this car from bumper to bumper, washing it and waxing it. Um, the front bumper does have a small scratch on it there. Um, from, you know, just a few feet away you can't see it, but I wanted to point that out. Um, there's one spot that has a touch, touch up paint on it. Just got a little nick there, probably from the wheels being swapped off. Not when we did it, but when the last person did it. Um, and then I've um, on a lot of the Mustangs that we've seen in the shop, the uh, for whatever reason the paint has a tendency to peel here, and uh, we just there's a touch up there's a touch a touch of paint right there in the corner. But I mean I'm talking just absolutely minuscule. This is a really beautiful car. It's rust free and all up underneath it. Um, it's got a rebuilt engine with high performance engine. Um, it does have an older um, chrome oil pan that somebody put on it and those things just have a tendency to chip off over time with being driven. So the, 
it's got you see that little bit of surface rust on the oil pan I didn't want to paint that oil pan though and try and change it everything else under this car looks so nice when I mean, you can just see that you know bushings are new hoses are new brakes have been redone floor pans were replaced a few years ago very professionally absolutely beautiful frame rails perfect condition dual flow maxter exhaust long tube headers metal brock intake see that chrome metal brock intake or I'm sorry aluminum metal brock intake with the new metal brock carburetor on it Ford 9 inch rear end Sorry, I got a rock in my shoe. There we go. Absolutely fantastic condition. A couple of little, a little bit of dirt there, I guess. So, unfortunately, my shop is located off of a dirt road, about or a gravel road, dirt road. It's just about a mile, about a half a mile long to get out to the. To the concrete so we can perfectly detail a car and then it ends up getting all the little little bit of dust on it we drive real slow um, interior is brand new on the car it's got the um, saddle cruiser center console aftermarket center console which I love the factory original center consoles of course look nice in factory original but these actually have cup holders a center console this is brand new matches the new interior it's got a new top upgraded with the glass back top goes up and down perfectly brand new tan out cover new carpet new rubber mat uh, Mustang mats we just put a brand new uh, aftermarket radio in it with the uh, speakers and the and the um, kick panels. Check. This car's just got a hair over a hundred thousand miles on it. Of course, the uh, rebuild's been being done or the restoration's been being done over the past seven years or so. Engine's probably got about a thousand miles on it since it was rebuilt. That rear bumper looks fantastic. The handles are original. They still look like they're in pretty good shape, uh, or very good shape, but they're not perfect. The, uh, um, you know, all the chrome on this thing looks real good. And uh, just overall, this is a sharp car. It's not a show car. Um, but on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being a show car, I want to be fair and say it's a 7. Um, and I say that some guys exaggerate and say their car's a 9 or something. You know, it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't have $10,000 worth of paint on it. You know, there's still little things that could be tinkered with, little, you know, bezels that could be done, little chrome this and that. I'm going to take another video of us taking it for a spin. It drives fantastic. It's got the manual brakes. They're, they've been rebuilt all the way around. Power steering works great. Um, it drives out with plenty of power. It's got a really nice aggressive sounding exhaust system. This is just a beautiful car. Also, um, these 17 inch American racing wheels are included for the price that we're asking. If you like, I've got some um, the other wheels and you'll see the pictures on the internet that I've got the 15 inch wheels and those also have new tires on them. If you want those 15 inch wheels instead of these, I'll knock a thousand dollars automatically off the price and swap the wheels off. Um, those wheels are nice looking 20 footer wheels but when you get up on them uh, they are older and they have a little bit of pitting and stuff like that. They look really sharp in the pictures and like I said from 15, 20 feet away the other wheels look really nice. Um, but these are brand spanking new out of the box. This is just such a super sharp ride. This is the American 
dream car right here.